Welcome, my name is John Mazzara with Remax Results. And today I'm speaking with David Gibbs with Prime Lending. Uh, David is uh, a wonderful person who's done loans for many years. I'm gonna let him tell us more about himself in just a moment. But one of the things he's gonna share with us today is a way that sellers can have a higher net in this kind of tricky market right now where there aren't as many buyers out there and, and the price reductions are the norm. There's maybe one other solution that you hadn't considered. And for a buyer, this solution will bring the payment to a level that might be more affordable than at the current market rates. So I'm going to let David tell us about this old program that's resurrected to be new again. David, what am I talking about? Hi, John. Thanks so much for having me today. I'm David Gibbs with Prime Lending, NMLS number 1459772. Just to give you a quick introduction of myself, I have been a mortgage professional now for 15 years, uh, working in this industry full time. I've worked for uh, big lenders, I've worked for small lenders, and found a niche at Prime Lending. Uh, Prime as a whole has been around for 35 years. We offer as many as about 440 lending products. So if there is a need, we will find a solution for our customer one way or another. Um, one of the products that we're talking a lot about today is uh, where we're trying to help sellers and buyers to make this market, this very challenging market that we find ourselves in work for uh, everybody. So we have a product here at Prime Lending, we call it a buy down advantage product. And in effect, what it does is it helps protect buyer and seller from the current market gyrations. As everybody knows, uh, home values have been increasing for the past three solid years. So values are very near and have probably peaked. What's happened also this year is interest rates have gone up dramatically. At the beginning of the year, we were in the threes. Now we find ourselves in the sixes across the board, whether you're lender A or lender Z, that's kind of where the market's at. So how are we going to help buyers in a changing market to be able to afford a mortgage when home prices have gone up, interest rates have gone up, mortgage payments have gone up. So what do we do with this? So I created this strategy uh, that will help illustrate this for you. And I'm just going to go ahead and present my screen to you so you can see what I'm talking about. And we'll get this going. There we go. And John, you can see my screen, can't you? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, perfect. So I created this uh, little presentation earlier today to illustrate a couple of different possibilities in the market. So possibility number one is, okay, we have a home for sale, 400,000, buyers putting 20% down. Great, wonderful, easy peasy. Well, now that we are in the market that we're in, where, like John said, buy downs, or I'm sorry, rate reductions are not possible, but uh, home price home prices are um, negotiated lower in a lot of cases. Uh, sellers aren't able to quite command a full price offer. We need to come up with a way to help them maximize their return on the sale of their house. So what we do is we use this buy down advantage program. And what it allows us to do is temporarily reduce the interest rate that the client will be paying. And you can see that illustrated in the fourth column or the column on the far right. We have a 30 year mortgage. We have a purchase price of 400000 and we have an interest rate that is reduced temporarily to 4.75 versus the other interest rates at 6.75 or 6.5. Uh, what this does is it gives the buyer a monthly payment much smaller than the market rate today, uh, or market payment today, about $375, and that's a huge amount of dollars to put back in their pocket. What that reduction allows them to do is ease their way into the home ownership world because in reality most of the people I'm working with today are first time home buyers or are people that are buying a bigger home to accommodate their family or maybe even downsizing. So this way we ease into this new mortgage and we know that by buying down the mortgage rate temporarily we can lower the payment and then get that person in to the house. Now, the reason a seller might want to offer this as an incentive to a buyer is because they can hold their purchase price at a higher value. Now, the column second from the right illustrates what it looks like if the seller took a 20% or $20,000 reduction in their price. So instead of getting $400,000, they're getting only uh, $380,000. That really doesn't help the seller at all. They're netting less from the sale of their house, where if they offered the buyer a little incentive uh, with this buy down advantage program, they could net a higher amount coming back to them than they would have otherwise. So this strategy is helping both the buyer with a lower monthly payment and the seller with keeping more money in their pocket when they complete the sale of the house. John, any questions on this strategy? 
Well, basically what we're, help, what we're helping do is create an interest rate subsidy account, and it can be for a year or even a couple of years, depending how much money, correct? Correct. In this case, we're talking about a 2-1 strategy, a 2-1 buy-down strategy. So a reduction for the first year of 2% under the market rate and a reduction of 1% in the second year, again, allowing the buyer to ease into home ownership with a lower rate than what the market will bear, knowing that the economy and the markets always are changing. So a person executing this strategy is probably looking at refinancing in the next couple of years when the market rates are lower than they are today. For sure. And they have uh, some payment relief while they're getting into their new house and maybe using that uh, just as an adjustment from their former payment or rent or if they need to make improvements. So they get effectively uh, a, a lower rate, like you can see almost 2% lower the first year, then 1% then fully indexed. And if the economy improves, they can refinance if the rates are lower, they don't have to, then the rate will be back at that 6.75, the fully indexed rate. But um, in the meantime, they've got some relief and uh, they do qualify though at the higher rate initially. Right. Yep. And uh, another thing that's really unique, I think to yourself, David and Prime is, that the buyer has the option to do a float down depending on the type of loan and product. Can you tell us a little bit how a float down might work and be beneficial in a rapidly rising market like we're in today where the rates are ugly and then they might pull back a little bit before somebody's closing? Right, absolutely. So what a float down does effectively is it gives us flexibility. In this market, environment we're in right now where rates are rapidly, rapidly increasing. The first thing I always tell a client to do is use their best judgment on what to do to lock their interest rate today or not. In almost all cases, the client wants to lock the interest rate today at the beginning of their purchase journey because they want protection from unknown increases into the future. What a float down option allows us to do, and we include this um, with every loan that we, we lock at Prime Lending, it allows us to analyze the market as the loan flows through the processing and underwriting processes, and then allows us, if the market is offering lower rates in the future while we're in process, to execute a float down where we unlock and throw out the old interest rate that we originally did and capture one of the market rates that's available at that moment in time. So we're allowing ourselves the ability to take away uh, something that's higher and give the client something lower that's gonna carry a lower monthly payment. It doesn't always happen. We haven't done a lot of float downs this year because interest rates have steadily marched upward. But in the past, we've done this with great success uh, in more normal uh, market situations. Great, I think it's a great idea. and. And you actually did one on a, for a client that is extremely happy because you were yes, did. diligent. Yep, you were yes, very we diligent did. on watching the rate and communicating. And that's one of the things that David does is, you know, he's been around for 15 years for a reason. Um, he obviously has happy clients and uh, it's due to his attentiveness and nature on the files. And um, so if you were to work with him, I know you would be happy. I know I, know I have been and, and I know you would be as well. Uh, David, with regards to Prime, um, and yourself and other products programs, anything else you'd like to share with the consumers? The buy down here is a great option. The float down is a tremendous extra value. Uh, what, what else do you wanna share if anything in regards to yourself and Prime uh, before we wrap up the video? Well, really what I, I want to be is I wanna be a resource to you and to all your clients. I want to be the person that is a consultant and is willing to give you objective information. If another lender is offering a better term, I'm gonna tell my clients that. It's my obligation and duty to do so. If I can offer something that's unique that'll help them close a loan where others haven't been able to, that's my ultimate goal. Cause that's the thing that makes me feel good at the end of the day is that I'm always, always, always keeping the customer at the first position. They're always my focus. They're always the one that I'm working for and, and focused on helping. Wonderful. Uh, let me ask you a couple other quick questions. So you do FHA loans, yes, sir. VA loans, conventional loans, investment property loans, new construction, special financing, meaning the down payment assistance loans. Yep. Uh, do you do lines of credit? We don't offer lines of credit, but a couple of products that we do do that will be um, valuable for our customers is we do USDA loans. So for properties that are in more rural and remote areas, 
We also do renovation loans. So for people that are either buying or own a house that needs some renovation work, we have product offerings that will help them achieve those financing goals. And they're all done in-house. They're not done with a partner lender or anything like that. Uh, lastly, we have uh, the option to broker out loans, which means for people that have very, very unique qualification situations or need very unusual uh, ways to document their income and their assets, we have options to help those folks as well. Okay, so you have what are called the non-QM loan? Are you broker those as well? Yes, we very can. sweet. Okay, that's very nice to have. A lot of the, uh, certainly the bread and butter uh, companies and even the very large boxes don't do QM loans. So um, that that's a nice extra feature. Are you able to do, not that I've run into it, but are you able to do a foreign, you know, foreign, uh, I forget what they call it, like the ITN numbers and those types of things? Yes, sir, we can. Yep, we okay. can. So we can work with people that um, their uh, residency status is not necessarily a permanent resident alien. Uh, absolutely, yes. Okay, well, that's really a nice feature because I know a lot of times there's not a lot of places that want to touch that. Correct. All right. Well, that's wonderful. David, can you give us your name, email again, phone number on how people can reach you? And I'll have that down below in the description of the video so you can reach out to them too. But if you just want to say that really quick and we'll be, we'll be good and we'll wrap it sure. up. My cell phone number, best way to reach me is 651-529-6333. My email address is david.gibbs, G-I-B-B-S at primelending.com. And my website is uh, www.davidmgibbs.com if you'd like to learn more about me and the Prime Lending products. Awesome. Thank you for your time today, David. Thank you, John, for having me. Have a wonderful day.